Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Guacamelee 2. Last time, we managed to make it all the way here to where the chicken pope is waiting with a giant cactuardo size hole. I'm gonna ignore it. Fearless chosen one, you are confused. The bird who must not be named is through the hole just in front of me. Yeah, it won't let you move on. You have to go fight him. Also, I noticed between episodes, I missed a chest. And I checked to see, can I go back down and get it? You cannot go back through this section here in reverse. It's unfortunate, but we'll just have to come back for that later. So, I say... Ooh, wait, no. Almost forgot, new episode. I want to change costume, and you know what? I think the perfect costume to take on the arch enemy of the Chicken Illuminati is Pollo Luchador. Let's do it. Okay, this is a small thing, but I love when you go through to the other side of it, it's flipped the hole. Cause you know, you're on the other side of the hole. It's a small touch, but not something that every game does. Wait a minute, how did you get here? To be fair, I don't even know where here is or who you are. I think we probably took the wrong exit at that last intersection. Before you start spamming square on us, know this. I really don't care what that brute Salvador is doing. But he's helping me get a leg up on the chicken Illuminati, so if you're trying to stop him, you're impeding my plans. Cactuardo, do you still have the golden egg in your belly? Good, good. We must keep it safe. Yes, since these people are threatening the golden egg, we must defeat them. Ha <laughs> hmm, yes. Let's do so quickly so we can find our way out of this damn place. Versus Zope e Cactuardo. So, Zope is the enemy with the health bar that you need to take out. He doesn't have too much health um, out, but he will move kind of quickly and he'll do some dive bombs, usually two in a row. Kind of the a downward Puyo shot followed by a Puyo slide. And there we go! We knocked him out, and by doing so, he hops up on Cactuardo, wait for him to jump up so I can get out of the way. What you want to do is knock him off of Cactuardo. When you do that, the actual boss becomes targetable beat up on his mouth, and... Okay, we got about half of his health gone. Ow. Alright, come on. Get out of the way. You don't really need to focus on the uh, Chupacabras at all. Focus on Cactuardo. That's the bulk of this fight. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, really? Darn it. I have had times in the past where I've managed to do it in just two, um... Two cycles. Ow. Alright, I am getting rid of this Chupacabra because I don't want to deal with Zope. Ah, oh, with them on my back. Okay, come on. Yes. Got him. Now, knock him off one more time and we should be able to finish him off here. Oh, lost our combo at the last second. But we did it! We beat him. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was a valiant attempt, Luchador. But you're in some serious trouble now, because Cactuardo's just getting started! Cactuardo, go body that fool! Zope body slammed. And we get the trophy Prickly Pear, which I love the pun in that trophy name, since Prickly Pear is also a type of cactus. The heavens be praised! We finally recovered the golden egg! Golden egg! Chosen one, if the... <gasps> the... This is fine. It's probably just a scratch. Nope! It's cracked clean in half! But what's inside it is something special. And we get the trophy. One down. The, the egg has chosen you. It gave you a piece of the special key. 
Chosen one, perhaps you are the one who will find the pieces of the key. He who assembles the special key shall open the important door. So yeah, the trophy one down is for complete, or not completing, uh, getting a piece of the key, which is normally a special challenge. And you'll notice we have a new ticker in the top left, one of five. So got a few more to find. With that, now that we've defeated Zope and Cactuardo, we can move onward and get the heck out of here. Literally. Head on up. And remember, the whole point of this was we were coming down so we could bypass the area where the workers were. So we shouldn't have to worry about them. Oh, it's you again. I guess the chef doesn't go around. Well, buddy, you win some, you lose some, I guess. You can come through here now if you want. Prepare to be blown away by the fruits of our labor. A true mechanical marvel. The whole point was we were supposed to come up on the other side of where they were working. And it brought us back up, like, three feet away. Also, this is what they did. It's a little gap with a void under it, and they made a tiny moving bridge. Oh my gosh. I just, there are no words for it. Ah, <sighs> well, let's fly on upwards. And we can get out of here. But before you go left, we've got a little area here with a chicken challenge. Open wide. Get ready for some battles in here. This is kind of cool. Alright. Come here, yeah. There we go. Now you definitely, while the chupacabras can be annoying, you want to focus on any exploders before anything else. Ooh, ooh. Almost ran right into you. Ow. Did run into you. That should be good, yeah. Now, we got a couple of slides here, but can't really do anything with them. They're slightly above the ground, so. Here we got ah, a couple of these leapers. I love the explosion, like, blast radius. Ah, for the special moves. It just... It's so satisfying to watch enemies go flying when you kill one. Oh, great. And hey! Oh, that was beautiful. I love that we managed to get rid of all their shields and then the explosion killed them off at the end. Ooh, and this is a fun room. We can have a couple bit of bouncing. I love bouncing like that and getting them on the ricochets, hitting them multiple times. Ow! I would have thought that would have hurt him. But he hurt me, apparently, instead. No. You do not. You do not get to hurt me. I'm taking you out. We don't need any of this money now, but it's just kind of fun getting it. I do plan to just keep doing, you know, playing the game as I have been, not really skipping any barrels, because I want to hit max money. Maybe we will in time. Congratulations! Now you can press circle to lay an egg. Yeah, we were done with Chuzo statues for one, but there was that wasn't the last Chuzo statue total. <sighs> Huevo! What? No, the egg doesn't explode. No, you certainly can't throw it. Nice reference to the first guacamole and Yoshi, respectively. What is it for? What kind of questions are these? It's an egg! If the miracle birth isn't enough to impress you, you can just go. The exit's behind me. It's an egg. 
let it sit there and it just disappears. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It's just laying an egg. Except, lay 12 of them and you get the trophy. These are not fertilized. I love how useless it is that they give us that. Especially after the first game, the egg was, I mean, it was mostly used as a puzzle tool. It wasn't the best for combat, though I guess you could use it for that. It just seems very tongue-in-cheek to give us an ability we can't use, you know, at all, except for just, you know, hey, just press circle to lay an egg. Let's go ahead and get up out of here. All these pathways are opening up now. Fly up. Oh, that actually was shorter than I thought. I thought that was going to be a much longer section. And we got some money and heart piece. And with that, I think we're done in this Pollo Challenge Room. Yeah, we're out of here. I still love that Chicken Man is an egg. Wait, am I headed the right way? Yes, I am. Hey, chicken. Looking for the Temple of the Snake Chosen One? You'll find Isla Bonita just past this inordinately long pool of water. Pass through here to get to the Snake Temple. Have a safe flight. Okay. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to let us in the water there. Fly across. And we get to a new area. Isla Bonita. Kind of cool, like, chill music here. See. Ooh. It's so pretty here. Look at that waterfall. It's a big waterfall going on here. And a church. If the world wasn't ending, this would be a great vacation spot. I think the Snake Temple might be just past that church. Let's get up there. And we've got some new memes. I love it. Serpiente contra. Ocelot. Yep, Snake versus Ocelot. And Papa Chico. Somehow Chico doesn't have the same feel as boy. I don't know. The secret ingredient to secret guacamole. Oh, Luchador was right there in front of you the whole time. It's love, of course. The pure, unadulterated love of boy. I really had you go in there, didn't I? It's corn, Luchador. The secret ingredient is corn. Maze, I take you somewhere? Oh, the pun. I love and hate it. Flame face. Yeah, you don't say anything new. But at least you got a fightatorium over here. Welcome to our fair town. Now with ominous blobs of doom. What's, uh, is there anybody? Yeah, no one on this side here. But you? This black smoke in the sky? Are we in danger too? Will it harm us if we're already dead? It's definitely a bit unnerving. So we've got a red block. I want to actually head back down and approach from this side. See. Oh! Oh, there's a luchador there. Gotta go check him out. Hey, bud. Apparently, the Salvador fella is a serious threat. How much damage could a single man possibly do? You ask that, but I've done a lot of damage myself. And also, he's destroying the Mexiverse. That's a lot of damage. Kava was so beloved by the people in this town. We had no idea he was capable of such terrible, careless destruction. Nemesis and Pyramide Roja. So silly. I love it. Oh, beans. We're out of tortillas for tonight's dinner. I wonder if I could get Carlita, or could send Carlita to go get some. In here... <gasps> Waluigi. Waluigi Luchador number one. I love that. Also, I think that's supposed to be a Bane reference? I'm not sure. It, but that's definitely an alien. Very silly. But hey, free chest! Out 
here we got some crabs. Yeah, don't have to worry about them really. Hey, Luchador. Nice evening for a wrestle, isn't it? Also, this. I love it. Shovel Knight versus Hollow Knight. It, it's just so cute. Salvador is the coolest. He's so dark and edgy. I bet you his parents don't understand, but he totally doesn't care. Also, this is a nice little touch. Mystery Luchador's Wrestle Grounds and Fight Night Lucha Royale. Yeah, it's a PUBG and Fortnite joke. Might be low-hanging fruit, but it's tasty fruit nonetheless. Bring the meteor to the skeleton. Bring the meteor to the skeleton. Oh, sorry. That wasn't meant for you. I think I'm lost. Okay. I've never heard anyone else mention this, but I think that's a Final Fantasy VI reference. Like, the little girl going, wind the clock, wind the clock. Uh, that, that's just a rhyme I came up with. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I've always interpreted that to be that way. Cameron! Cielo! Ahora! Please, Daniela, we can't keep doing this. And I don't get the reference. It's gotta be something, but it goes over my head. In here. Oh! La Battaglia de Siglo? Optimo versus Mega. Uh, nothing on this side. Hi there! My name is Inatawi Urot. Take a moment and read it backwards. I lost a lot of my coins down in a maze, and I'm not really fit enough to get them back. If you can go and successfully retrieve them, they'll be yours. What do you say? Sure. You'll have two minutes to collect the coins before you die for no apparent reason. Good luck. It's Pac-Man. I love this. This is such a neat little thing. Just wander through the maze. You don't have to worry about ghosts. But just collect all the coins. And yeah, so if you see that guy's name backwards, it's Toru Iwatani, creator of Pac-Man. I, I think that's a cute reference. And this is just a neat little segment. It's not hard at all, as long as you just, you know, keep moving. There we go, we're doing good. Aw. Oh. Sadly, I kind of wish there were ghosts. Maybe, you know, give you a little bit of a, oop, a challenge, like a threat go as you go through. But, oh well. Can't have everything. It's also a little sad that there's no warps around the sides, but that would needlessly complicate it, I think. All right, we got a little under a minute to go. We can easily do this. We did it! And I love that the chest appears where the cherry would. How fitting since it's, you know, a pink chest. Health chunk. Thank you very much. Congratulations on collecting all the coins. I hope you enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. That was really charming. And if we head over to the left, there's a hidden little chest. With some more money that we don't need. Now, okay. El Capitan Contra Reptile. I don't get this. The captain versus the reptile. I mean, even some of these jokes go above my head. Now, we need to get up here. All right, let's... There we go. Hey, bud. This cliffside is the best place to relax. Ah, so perfectly tucked away from everyone else. They suspect nothing. <laughs> Creepy. Anyone else up here? No. Also, a rare instance where the sign is the exact same living in the dead just looks slightly different. Chicken! The Chosen One! Behind me lies a portal which we believe contains one of the special key pieces. However, the prophecy says that the one worthy of the key will be capable of laying eggs. So, Chosen One, you must demonstrate this for me before I can let you through. Now nah, I'm good. I have my reasons, but 
I'm not gonna do that for right now. We'll come back later and take a look at that. Ooh, we got a chest up here. Now you'll notice, big open space down here. We haven't filled in the map yet. Let's drop down a bit. That's probably good. Fly across. All right, first thing first, head up and break the red brick. Senior Frog Fractions. Okay, Frog Fractions, I get the reference, but Luchadores del Arco Iris. Rainbow Luchadores? I don't get it. Hey, old lady. I just spent my savings investing in a few properties around town, since everyone is panicking and selling them off cheap. If we survive, I'll be rich. And if we die, who cares? Win-win. Okie dokie. My faithful puppy found me here in the afterlife. Isn't that sweet? Who's a good boy? You are. Yes, you are. Dogs are good. We do not deserve them. All right, let's fly to the left, fill in this map, uh, drop down a little bit, a little bit more. That's good. Fly back across. There's nothing else in the middle here below that. I just had to fill that in. Let's see, did we fully explore? We did. Let's head back up. And... Anyone up at the top here? Oh, hello. You get the best view of the town from this spot right here. Isn't it lovely? Just ignore the horrifying voids. I will ignore them. And we are at the church. Oh, hello. I feel so at home here. The majestic waterfalls, the cozy small town feel. Ah, this is the good life. Hello, Luchador. Looking for a safe place to rest? Please visit the chapel here and let the Mother Superior tell you a tale. I'm good. This here is the chapel where Salvador grew up. Hope I get to see him again soon. He's so handsome. La Gran Cabeza de Copa. It's Cuphead. A really jacked Cuphead, too. Cuphead. Cuphead. I can speak. Luchador, are you going after Salvador? Please be careful. He's become exceedingly powerful. You can hear it in the rattle of his cough. I love this town so much. I couldn't imagine living forever anywhere else. It is a nice little town. Sorry, but the Temple of the Snake is strictly off limits to the public. It's crazy dangerous in there. Unmaintained stairwells, deadly hover snakes. If you seriously need to get in, you better talk to the Mother Superior in the chapel. She asked me to keep watch here. What about you? Are you looking to enter the Temple of the Snake? It's dangerous to go alone. Heh. <laughs> you should get permission from Mother Superior if you really want to enter. She's in the chapel, just behind you. So yeah, as it popped up, it says, Speak to the Mother Superior to gain access. Alright, I guess we'll go talk to her. Buenas tardes, luchador. That mask you are wearing, it is truly special. We once had a mask like that here. Come closer. <laughs> You've come to learn about Salvador. I remember. He was just a sweet baby left at my doorstep. I made a promise that day. The island became home for Shava. He was always a determined child. The waterfall was his favorite spot. He wanted to become a strong luchador. And he did become strong. His technique was outstanding. But I didn't think he was ready. His spirit wasn't strong enough 
for the burden of the mask. His despair still weighs heavily on me. Perhaps I could have found a way. Perhaps I could have saved him. But I failed. And darkness would eventually own him. promise I made that day. I still haven't broken it. That I would love him dearly every day of his life. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. And that's what we call a tension breaker. Salvador's ceremony is in the Temple of the Snake. Our guard will allow you through. It's to the left. The mask is consuming him, Luchador. Do what you must. Poor Mother Superior. Alright, nothing on the... I was like, what does she look like in the World of the Dead? But you can't enter here in that way. Dark times, Mono. But check it! I spent a lot more time reading about the timeline rifts in El Ultramundo. There are actually an infinite number of timelines in existence. Can you imagine an infinite number of me's? It's wild. Inside El Ultramundo, you can access any timeline, but I bet it's a crazy maze in there. Technically, though, El Ultramundo ties all the timelines together. Interesting. Well, I say let's go ahead and head to the temple. The bridge leads to the Temple of the Snake. Good luck, Luchador. And hey, it's our trainers. Ah, uh, Juan, I bestow upon you the blessing of the luck. Aha, you are a super mover. Aha. My disciple, look at you, a champion. All my hard work has paid off. I, Rooster Ramirez, thank you for your trust. Juan the Luchador. You're definitely going to die. Say hello to Salvador for me with a punch. Oh, I love that they all came to see us. And if you talk to them, they say the same thing again. It's kind of neat. But we're missing someone. <gasps> there she is. Why am I the only one here? I thought we had a trainer's rendezvous on the bridge. Anyways, remember all the lessons I've taught you. They're more important than anybody else's. <laughs> yeah, she's standing in the right place, but she's in the world of the dead. So it looks like she's not here. It's so wonderfully silly. All right, let's do it. Let's go to Templo de la Serpiente. And I think this is the perfect place to leave off this episode. We're in the final area, Temple of the Serpent, and we're gonna try to catch up and stop Salvador. Oh, it's a sad story, but really at this point, we don't have a choice. We've gotta stop him. If you've enjoyed this episode, Make sure to click like and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.